Welcome to Study Smarter's Grammar School. You may have been asked to use the active or passive voice, but what do those things actually mean? A sentence in the active voice has a subject, a verb that can come in many different forms, and often an object. But what if you don't know the subject, or want to, for some other reason, de-emphasize or disappear the subject entirely and focus instead on the object? This is where the passive voice comes in. First, change the word order so that the object is at the start of the sentence and the verb is at the end. Note that the verb takes its past participle form, which, in the case of most verbs, ends in ed. Add a form of the verb to be. The original subject can be added to the end of the sentence, but it's no longer necessary. Note that sometimes it is important to know the subject of the sentence, and omitting it and using the passive voice instead can make the sentence feel incomplete, evasive or even dishonest. In academic writing, the passive voice is typically used in studies that rely on experiments. And the active voice is much more common in studies, papers and sections of papers that emphasize theory and analysis. Although there is some disciplinary variation to the use of the active and passive voice, given they serve different purposes and have different emphases, you will find that you'll use both the active and passive at different points in any given piece of writing. You'll also see the passive voice being used in news headlines, typically without the form of the verb to be. So there we go. The active voice is direct and emphasizes the subject, while the passive voice emphasizes the object and is particularly useful for describing processes and methods. Thank you for watching. Look out for more Study Smarter Grammar School videos.